All righty. Whoops. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Forgive me for coughing in your ear, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to get my calculator up. All right. All right. All right. So let's go on and, and, and get things started, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for those of you who are visiting with us for the very first time, welcome, welcome uh, to tonight's uh, Zoom. Uh, the gentleman that you heard just a few moments ago is the developer of uh, Billion Dollar Mind. Um, and tonight what we're going to do is we're going to get right into our generational wealth model. Um, on Sunday night, uh, we get into our sharing uh, uh, model about our um, uh, unique value proposition. This is where uh, we share um, universal laws uh, that as we apply them are designed to uh, engender personal transformation. Um, those uh, four laws, uh, we like to refer to them as the four uh, pillars of faith. Let me show that to you real quickly. Uh, and they are gratitude, my computer is moving a little slow. There we go. They are gratitude. They are vision. Uh, heart. Uh, surrounding ourselves with the feeling of what it would be like uh, once we attain our vision, once we actualize our vision. And then affirmations. Um, calling those things that are not as though they already are. All right. So we covered that um, on uh, Sunday nights on the same Zoom. Um, 8 p.m. New York time, bdmzoom.com. Uh, On Tuesday nights, we have a combo uh, where we talk a little about the uh, four pillars of faith, as we call them, um, and we do an abbreviated uh, on our generational wealth model. Tonight, we're concentrating on our generational wealth model. We want to make sure you get this. Um, when people are looking at areas in their lives that they're looking to transform, usually at the top of the list, you know, maybe it's relationships and uh, health, uh, but somewhere in that top three, usually it's going to be finances. So let's talk about that tonight. Um, John often shares that when he was first introduced to Bitcoin, it was just five cents. And he had a buddy of his that was um, saying, dude, get, get some Bitcoin, you know, a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, sit on it and see what, what's going to happen. Now, had he done that, when Bitcoin was going for a nickel, five cents, that would have been 20,000 Bitcoin. And we've seen Bitcoin go as high as like 72,000. Um, this uh, is this is maybe a few weeks old, but maybe about a month old, uh, was uh, 66,000 back then. So if John had bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin, sat on it, 20,000 uh, Bitcoin, and let's say when it got to this price, he decided to uh, cash it out, Times 66, 444. Folks, that would have been almost $1.33 billion. Now, he didn't do that, okay? Uh, my very quick story is my first uh, foray into the cryptocurrency space was back in 2014. Uh, actually, August of 2014. So last month, just a few days ago, was 10 years ago. Um, I bought Bitcoin for 515 um, I was promoting a particular platform that paid us in Bitcoin, um, but I didn't get the big picture. Uh, Bitcoin went from 515 down to 43, 200, 166 bucks is what I remember as a low. Uh, and I just didn't get it. Okay. Um, there were the naysayers out there saying Bitcoin's a scam, Bitcoin's a Ponzi, Bitcoin's not going anywhere, it's going to crash. And and then there were uh, people out there that were saying that the company I was promoting, that was a scam. And shoot, their folks call, you know, call me a scam. That just happens. OK, but at that time, I let that get to me. And my biggest lament in my business career, my 30 year business career, I probably left a good 10 to 15 million dollars on the table. Now, how do I come to that? Because one of the guys that I personally referred to that particular project. Four years into it, four years into it, all right, 2018, all right, got started with that project in 2014. By 2018, he gets in touch with me. He says, dude, thank you. Thank you, professor. Because of you, I am a multimillionaire. Huh? What do you mean because of me? It, you know, first off, 
how'd you become a multimillionaire? And, and what did I do? He said, you introduced me to that company. See, he went for it. I did it. He went for it. I did not So when I got paid in Bitcoin, I essentially had to convert everything over into usable, spendable cash because he was more aggressive in building that business that paid him in Bitcoin. He didn't have to convert everything. And as a result, he was able to build a stash of Bitcoin so that when Bitcoin was, I think it was probably 17,000 ish, 18,000 ish. I could be off a little bit uh, when he uh, reached out to me. Um, he was a multimillionaire. Now, um, now the Bitcoin is over three times what it was back then. He uh, is likely a multi, multi, multi millionaire. Okay. Now, with that being said, when um, John started sharing with me what he was looking to do with Billion Dollar Mind, one, and that uh, we were going to leverage an asset called Flare, and that some pundits are suggesting that Flare could get to $40,000 of Flare. I quickly went and um, did some math on that and looked at Flare, and Flare was only going at the time for two cents. Now it's actually less than two cents. Okay. Um, and I'm saying, oh my gosh, I've got a shot. Perhaps it doesn't even have to get to 40,000 flare. You know, if I uh, ultimately have uh, a million flare and it gets to a dollar, that's a million. I have a million flare and it gets to $40. That's 40 million. Oh my gosh. And so I will share that what we're going to talk about tonight is we want to assist you in ultimately building your own portfolio of flare and ultimately other cryptocurrencies. Okay. But Flare specifically, uh, I want to see you get to the point where you've got five to 10 million Flare that you've been able to accumulate, meaning our platform, everything is paid out in Flare. So Flare comes in the system, Flare is paid out from the system. Okay. Now, are you going to convert some of that to usable, spendable cash? Certainly. Okay. Uh, but we want to get you to a point where you're generating so much that you're able to amass, accumulate plenty of flair. Let's say you got five to 10 million flair in time. Flair never makes it to 40,000, but it makes it to a buck. And you're sitting on five to 10 million flair. That's five to 10 million bucks. It makes it to four bucks, not 40,000. Now, all of a sudden, if you're sitting on five to 10 million flair, you're talking potentially maybe perhaps all of my disclaimers, generational wealth, okay? 20 to 40 million in that example, okay? All right, so I missed it before. I ain't going to miss it again. And my mom may be coming from the heavens and tapping me on the shoulder saying, son, you know I told you uh, to use the King's English. <laughs> Let's go to work. All right, so our generational, uh, generational wealth donation plan, here's some highlights. There's no monthly subscriptions. Uh, we've got low, medium, high ticket donation packages and payouts. So we're leveraging a donation model, leveraging a universal law, law of the harvest. Some would call it sowing and reaping. Now, that law goes like this. It's really three parts of it. The first part says we reap what we sow. The second part says we've got to sow to reap. The third part says, when we reap, we reap more than what we sow. Okay? So we've got low, medium, high-ticket donation packages uh, and payouts. We've got an 80% payout. Now, when you compare that to most companies in the uh, work-from-home uh, online space industry, all right, make money online niche, most companies can't pay out 80%. You know, they've got a product over here. They've got a manufacturer of that product. Uh, I've been a part owner of our company way back when. Um, not ownership material, not looking to do that again. Uh, uh, but I've been in there when we were uh, developing the product and had the consultant and, and coming up with the product line or what have you. And we had a cost of, for that product. We had a We had a wellness product way back then. Okay. Well, we don't have that. 
Okay. So this allows us to pay out 80% right back to the field. A donation comes in, 80% uh, uh, goes out to one person. Most companies in our industry, they're paying out likely 35, maybe up to 50%, just maybe. Okay. The other thing is with most uh, um, platforms in our industry, they're going to pay that out, further diluting the amount that's being paid out amongst several different people. All right. This is not multi-level because only one person is getting paid. And that was also ingeniously done because there's a big difference between when you're paying out multiple tiers, what happens in terms of regulations and things of that nature, as opposed to really a one tier affiliate. That's what this is, a one tier affiliate. It's just that John, who is a mastermind, was able to design the platform, as you'll see, that that one tier uh, has a ton of leverage. So an 80 percent payout. OK, no loss payouts. This is a community favorite. I will make sure you understand this. No loss referrals. This is really big. You know, a lot of companies in our industry, they have maybe, let's say, like a binary structure. You know, you've got a left leg, you've got a right leg. Well, what are you going to ha have happen? You're going to lose some personal referrals. Why? Well, because you're only going to get paid on one of those legs, uh, typically. All right. Uh, uh, platforms that have used uh, a type model that I'm going to introduce you to tonight, uh, usually people would lose referrals. That is not the case here. You'll see that as well. Unlimited width, unlimited depth, single payout. Um, remember, 80% of any donation gets paid out to one person. That could be as low as $8 because we've got a $10 do donation plan so that everybody can get started. Those who have any type of want to can get started. Uh, and we've got a donation plan all the way up to 20000 That pays out 16000 to one person. We truly have something for everyone uh, that wants to generate additional revenue. Now, I will talk about the generational wealth, but John has developed this so that we can also take care of our more immediate cash flow needs. When I was a kid, my favorite uh, candy was called Now. Well, I call it Now Laters. Now Laters. Okay. Uh, on the candy, it actually says Now and later. Eat some now, save some for later. So let's make some money now, more immediate, all right, and then grow wealth, perhaps even generational wealth uh, later, okay? Uh, cumulative payout, you could have one person that you happen to refer, um, and a lot of things would have to go right with that, but if that all went right, that could be almost $50,000 per person, per referral, that as you progress through uh, the donation plan, they progress through the donation plan that could be paid out uh, to you. Now, we're really excited about this part because we're just about there. When we launched, um, maybe a little about a month ago, it really wasn't a launch. It was more of a soft launch. What's a soft launch? Getting ready to get ready. Okay. Um, so it was really more of a, of a pre-launch or a beta, so on and so forth. Uh, we're almost to this point where uh, payouts will be available on demand. Someone makes a donation to you uh, this minute. You go in your back office. You see that um, your payout there, and you'll be able to uh, withdraw that out to your own DeFi crypto wallet. You're not going to have to wait to the end of the week. You're not going to have to wait to the end of the month. And once again, we are just about there uh, with all of the testing uh, uh, for you to start doing your withdrawing. Okay, so now let's start talking about the donation plans and we'll start talking about the mechanics of how this all works. So each one of these donation plans, the 10, the 50, the 100, the 250, all the way to the 2,500, 5,000, 15,000, 20,000, these are all separate donation plans, okay? Ultimately, you want to be qualified for all of the donation plans. How do you do that? By making a donation yourself, all right? So you want to make 
the largest donation that makes sense for you and your family. Don't go and hurt yourself. Never going to do that. All right. Don't go and take bill money. All right. Somebody else's money to do this. All right. This should be uh, disposable uh, 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 cash that you have. You're going to convert it to flare. We'll walk you through how to do all that good stuff. And you're going to make your donation. Now, I'm going to talk about from a pure plan perspective and financial perspective where the sweet spot is. You may be at the sweet spot. Great. You might be able to do better than a sweet spot. Spot. Great. You may not be ready for the sweet spot. Great. Okay. All right. So now, um, when you make your donation, what that will mean is that when someone that uh, is, you're going to hear this word a lot tonight. We'll make sure you understand it. It's coded to you. And they make that same donation, you're going to get your 80% withdrawable payout. So I'm going to use the example of 2500 for today. Now, this is based on the plan. This is the sweet spot. Am I saying that everybody's going to do 2500 Obviously not. All right. Uh, but once I un explain this, some of you will. And some of you will have other folks doing this as well. You see the advantage of that. And those of you that don't have those resources, don't sweat it, all right? Because the reality is, uh, if you have the wherewithal, if you have the want to, you can get started wherever you get started and ultimately scale all the way up. We ultimately want to um, uh, donate to each and every one of these plans all the way up so that we're receiving uh, withdrawable uh, payouts from each one of these plans. So let's say you got started with 2,500. Okay, good. Now, what this means is someone that now is coded to you, if they do 2,500, you get 2,000 in a payout. And because you did 2,500, they did 2,500, that 2,000 will be withdrawable. Okay? Now, the reason 2500 one of the reasons, is a sweet spot is for those of you that say, I want to be in a position to be able to generate um, um, a few thousands of dollars per month. Well, if you started off here and you had one person coded to you, all right, well, that's 2000 all right, a couple thousand dollars there. If you had a couple people coded to you that did the 2500 now all of a sudden that's 4000 Another reason this is a sweet spot is let's say you did the 2500 and usually the speed of the leader is the speed of the group, all right? So you do 2500 let's say you're Chris and you do 2500 and you bring on Paula and she does 2500 well, that would be 2000 now, remember at this point, you just came off the street and did 2,500. You didn't do these other plans just yet, all right? So you're not qualified to receive withdrawable payout. Now, that payout's not going anywhere. This is important. Remember I said no loss payout. But we do want these payouts ultimately to be withdrawable so that you can convert that, uh, as much of that as you uh, feel necessary, to usable, spendable cash. Now, let me show you why this 20, plan 2500 is the sweet spot, okay? So let's say you did 2500. You brought on Joe, Mary, Susan, and they did 2500. You get a $2,000 uh, withdrawable. Those were those folks were coded to you in my example. Well, you can then take that 2000 Yes, you can withdraw it. You can also do this. From this 2000 you could elect to go on and take care of plan 10, plan 50, plan 100, Plan 250, plan 500, plan 1,000, and still have some left over. That way, if you had someone that came aboard and maybe they didn't start at plan 2,500, maybe they started at plan 500 and they're coded to you, well, then that 400, because you're now qualified because you've done that 500 donation. Remember, this is a law of harvest plan. We reap. What we sow, number one. Number two, we got to sow to reap. But when we reap, we reap so much more than what we sow. Okay? So this is one of the reasons why Plan 2500 is the sweet spot. If you've got the resources, makes sense to you, 
great place to get started. If you've got the resources, doesn't quite make sense to you, all right, get started wherever you want to get started, okay? All right, now, let me show you why what John has done is absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's say you start off, all right, so Chris starts off at 2,500, okay? Uh, but let's say that Chris is, um, uh, has someone that's coded to him and they do plan 5,000. And we want to have this quick discussion. No loss payouts. All right, so Chris's person did 5,000. Chris is not qualified for this $4,000 pay uh, withdrawal. And in most uh, platforms, because Chris is not qualified, because he's not done the larger plan here, this 4,000 would normally go up somewhere. It would either go up to the person, the next person above Chris that is, uh, um, has, is qualified for the plan 5,000, or it may go to the company as breakage. John said, no, no, we're not going to do that. We want people to get their payouts. So let me show you what would happen. So here again is the example. You did the 2,500. You have someone coded to you that goes ahead of you. In many systems, you know, you'd be fretting. You wouldn't want that to happen. No big deal here. In this case, this 4,000 is not withdrawable. However, it goes on hold for you. I like to call it your bank. It's in your bank. Okay. Not only does it go on hold the full 4,000, but immediately the system is going to automatically uh, make donations on your behalf. The ones that you've not made that are within that $4,000 uh, uh, parameter. So the system is going to donate, plan 10 for you, plan 50 for you, plan 100, plan 250, plan 500, plan 1,000. That happens to come up to $1,910, all of these right here. And it would just subtract that from your 4,000 there. And that would leave you, let's see, 1910. I think that's going to leave you uh, 2,090 bucks. All right. So that leaves you 2,090. Okay. Can you withdraw that? No, you can't withdraw it. All right. Because you hadn't uh, donated here. It is a sowing reaping law of the harvest, but it's not going anywhere either. So now let's say, see, you didn't have to do this because you've already done plan 2,500. You now have, have 2,090 uh, uh, sitting in your bank. And so now what that means is, uh, let's say that you have another person that comes aboard uh, and they do plan 2,500 with you. All right. They're coded to you. That's 2,000 there. All right. Well, now that 2,000 is withdrawable. Or you could say, hmm. I've got 2,090 sitting in my bank. I've got 2,000 over here. If you wanted to add some in this example, or maybe you got some other payouts to get you to the 5,000, you don't have to come off the street with the full 5,000 now. You get to use whatever is in your bank and whatever the difference may be, okay? And again, that difference could come in other payouts from other plans, all right? Or that difference could come from your own pocket, but you don't have to come off the street in this example with the four or 5,000. Say it with me. No loss payouts. And thank you, John. <laughs> All right. Let me see what my time looks like. I can see. Oh, we got to hurry it up. We got to hurry it up here. Okay. All right. So we got that. No loss payouts. Now, now let's talk about the structure. Let's talk about the structure. All right. So uh, let's say that we've got Sue. She comes aboard. And she refers to a few folks, all right? She refers uh, Jorge and Sasha, Becky and Paul and uh, Rodney and Elizabeth, all right? Unlimited with, there is no limit to the number of people that Sue can, you can, we can refer, all right? Uh, we already have uh, 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 one person that's already, and we're just getting started, okay? Uh, really just getting ready to get ready, already has referred over 100 folks, okay? Now, it doesn't matter what order they come in, okay? 
And this is important because in a lot of plans that I've seen that utilize a structure uh, like we're using, a lot of times what happens is, you know, maybe like the second person that you referred, all right, that person may be lost. Meaning you referred the second person, but that second person goes to your sponsor. And maybe that fourth person goes to your sponsor. Remember what I said, no loss payouts. And then I also said no loss referrals. Okay, so I want you to keep this in mind. And this will be very clear as I go through this demonstration. You're going to receive payouts from each of those plans. There's 12 plans, okay? You're going to receive payouts from the first person that donates to that specific plan. It doesn't matter what order that person joins you in the network, okay? The first person that donates to plan 10, you're going to receive that 80% uh, um, payout. Now, if you've already donated to plan 10, that 80% payout will be withdrawable. If you haven't donated to plan 10, that 80% will be in your bank, okay? Now, if it's the third person that happens to donate to that plan, again, payout or going to your bank. If it's the fifth, the sixth, the 17th, the fifth and beyond, all right, that payout goes to you. And it doesn't matter which one of those plans it is. Whoever the first is, the third, the fifth and beyond, you get that donation. That's part of your harvest, okay? Now, part of the seed that we sow this is the law of the harvest uh, uh, plan is going to be our donation. So when you donate 2,500 or 10 or 50 or hundred or whatever uh, the amount is, that's a seed. When there is a second or fourth person, you referred folks, the second person that donates to a specific plan, the fourth person that donates to a specific plan those donations are going to go upstream. That's a seed. Now, let me show you what I mean by that. All right, so there's Sue, okay? And I put the donation amounts here to make it uh, easy as we go through this. All right, so again, she referred Jorge and Sasha and Becky and Paul and Rodney and Elizabeth. Now, let's assume in this example, Sue started off at 2,500, okay? She hadn't done these over here yet. She's just done the 2,500, all right? Now, let's say that Paul, and notice Paul's not the first person she referred. Paul is the first, second, third, fourth. But let's say Paul is the first to do 2,500. He's the first to do 2,500. Well, because Paul is the first, or if he had been the third, or if he had been the 5th, 6th, 17th, and 92nd, all right, the 5th and beyond, that payout would go to Sue. And because Sue is also qualified for the 2500 this 2000 uh, payout would be withdrawable, okay? So this payout went to Sue. Why? Because Paul was the first person that did the 2500 now, this 2000 would sit in her withdrawable balance. If Sue wanted to withdraw all of that, she could. Some of that, she could. If Sue wanted to say, hmm, let me take this 2000 and let me go on and do these donations so I'm qualified for those. So if somebody else does one of these donations to smaller ones, immediately that would be withdrawable. She can do that. All right. That's totally up to you. Okay. All right. Now, let's say that Sasha. No, I'll tell you what. Let's say that uh, Sue takes the 2000 and she does this right here. She does her 10, 50, 100, 250, 500, $1,000 donation, all in flair. That's 1910 that comes from the 2000. Okay. So she's now qualified. Now, Jorge just wants to test the waters. All right. Um, he's. Uh, converting uh, uh, spendable, usable cash into flare, but he's got a little cryptocurrency. So he says, okay, let me make sure this thing works. Uh, and he gets started uh, with a $10 donation. All right. And he's the first to do the $10. He's 
He's the first to do 10. Okay. Paul over here was the first to do 2,500. Okay. All right. Now, because Jorge is the first to do 10, and now Sue's qualified for the 10. Why? Because in this case, she decided to take from her payout and cover these donations here. See, Sue's got it. Sue wants to ultimately get through all the donations so that at every donation step, when someone's coded to her that donates to her, that's withdrawable. Okay. All right. So now, in this example, this $8 in Flare, that's going to be withdrawable to Sue. Why? Because that's the first person that did the $10 with Sue. Doesn't matter that Jorge was the first person that uh, registered with her referral link. What matters is what number was he on that specific plan? Each plan has its own, okay? Now, once he does the 10, he says, oh, okay, this thing works, all right? And he says, well, I was planning on doing 25 because I hear that's the sweet spot. I want to go on and do the 25. So now he goes on and does the 25, and he happens to be the second person to do the 25, okay? Is that 2,000 going to go to Sue? No, that's not going to go to Sue. That's going to go up. That's going to go upstream. So I want us to understand. Sue did not lose Jorge. That $2,000 seed becomes a seed to the person that Sue is connected to. Let's say Jorge, uh, you know, Jorge's got some resources. Jorge says, hmm, I want to do the 5,000 right away. He's got 5,000, and that's the first person that did the 5,000. So the first that did the 5,000, guess what? That 4,000, that's for Sue. Now, if she's not qualified for it, that'll be in her bank. If she's qualified for it, that'll be in her withdrawable balance, okay? So just because you may not have a person that you referred that um, is connected to you or coded to you for that one specific plan doesn't mean you've lost them. And I'm going to show you that in just a few moments. All right. So you get that. Okay. All right. So now. Give me a moment. Let's give you some more here. All right. So for those that made the first, third and fifth uh, uh, donations, and obviously through infinity, okay? You are going to receive their second and fourth. So you see what happened there with Jorge? He was the first to do the $10 uh, donation, all right? So he's coded to you, you got that. He was the second to do the 2,500 donation. That, that uh, uh, he's gonna be coded for that plan upstream he was the first to do the five thousand dollar donation that's going to be coded to you in this example let's say that you're sued okay now for any of these plans whoever is coded to you they're either in the first position the third position the fifth position and beyond when they have a second or fourth donation to that plan, that rises up to you. That is your massive, massive harvest. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Give me a moment. All right, so let's go back here, okay? Let's go back here. So let's, let's do this with Paul. So Paul is coded uh, uh, to Sue, the first person that did the 2,500, okay? Now, when Paul has person number one that does the 2,500, that is going to Paul. He gets his first and third and fifth and beyond. But whoever the second person is, 
that does the 2,500. Remember, this is for each plan. It could have been the second person that did the 50, the second person that did the 1,000, the second person that did the 20,000, okay? All right, if Paul is coded to you for that plan, then the second person that he has that donates to that plan that goes to you. Now, the third person that donates to that plan, that plan in this example is 2,500. That's going to go to Paul. He gets his first, third, fifth, just like Sue gets her first, third, fifth, and beyond. Okay? Just like you will get your first, third, fifth, and beyond. Just like I get my first, third, and fifth, and beyond. Okay? But the fourth goes where? This person here, when they did the 2,500, that 2,000 went upstream. Who was upstream? Sue or you in this example. And it doesn't stop there because for this plan, number two and number four are coded to Sue. So what does that mean? That means that number two's second and fourth, number four's second and fourth. Don't stop there. And this person here, their second and fourth. 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 Doesn't stop. And this person here, second and fourth, 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 second and fourth. How does John take a one tier payout where only one person's getting paid and somehow makes it so it is a leverage? base model. I don't believe he came up with that all on his own, although I know he's a brilliant man. Believe it maybe came from on high. Look at this, family. And this happens for each and every plan. That potential happens for each and every plan. Does it happen for the $10? Yes. What about the 50? Yes. What about the 100? Yes. What about the 250? Yes. What about the 20,000? Yes. Now, just about finished, so we can start to round third and respect your time. So I want to show you how this really works, okay? All right, this is yours truly. All right, and so a uh, buddy of mine came aboard, Plan 10, Mike, uh, Mike V. He was the first person that I referred that did Plan 10. It wasn't the first person I referred. He happened to be the first one that did the plan 10. So in green, that donation or that payout on that donation, 80% of the 10 went to yours truly. Now, the second person that I referred that did plan 10 is my buddy who's on the, the Zoom with his lovely wife uh, tonight, Yusuf. Okay. Now, because Yusuf is the second person to donate to that plan, did I get that payout? Say it with me. No. It became a what? A seed. See, I know the law of the universe. I want to plant good seed. It became a seed. So that payout went upstream. So for that particular plan, the $10 plan, Yusuf is coded to my referrer. Okay. Now, am I belly aching about that? No, because I understand the law of the universe. Now, look at this. My third goes to me. The fourth goes up. My fifth, my sixth. You can't see all this. I cut it off. I got a lot more people now that have done the $10. So anybody from the fifth and beyond, all right, those go to me, which means for that plan, they're coded to me, which means that anyone that you see here in green coded to me for this plan their second and fourth will also go to me. So it incentivizes me to continue to help everyone, no matter where they are. Okay. Because while uh, Mike, uh, uh, Michael is number one in plan 10 and Yusuf is number two, take a look at this. Let's go to plan 50. Just about finished. Well, will you look at that?
They switched. Yusuf is number one in plan 50. He was number two in plan 10. See, I didn't lose Yusuf. I didn't lose Yusuf. Okay. For plan 10, no, I did not get that payout. But he happened to be the first person that did plan 50. And so that came to yours truly and looked at Mike Vitrano was the second person that did plan 50. So what John has done, he's made it so there's no loss uh, payouts, as we mentioned. There's no loss referrals. The other thing he did was he made it so it doesn't make sense for you to, hmm, who who can I put in my second position so I'm qualified for the second position? Oh, let me, let me get my Nana. My Nana was 101 when she passed away. She's not even here anymore. That, no, no. Oh, oh, let me get the parakeet. Let me get the dog. No, no. All right. Because while that person may be in plan 50 and you think you got away, you're going to be hurting down the road when it gets to plan 5,000 and plan 20,000 because people aren't going to be in the same order with each plan as identified here. Let me show you just a couple more and we're just about to round third. Okay. Well, when you look at this, we get to plan 100 and what do we see? We see uh, uh, Gerard was first, Yusuf was second in plan 100. Okay. Let's go to another plan here. This is plan 250. All right. Uh, Thomas first plan 250. Uh, Michael was second in plan 250. Okay. So that's going to go up. All right. Am I upset with that? No. I want my uh, sponsor, who happens to be the developer of this platform, and listen, I'm telling you, this past week has been a rough week for my family. If it had not been for that man, John Austin, and what he's been teaching us about the principles of faith, gratitude, vision, uh, 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 surrounding yourself with the feeling of what it would be like once you attain the vision, um, and then affirmation. Folks, as tough as this past week has been for my family, you know what it's done? It's brought the rest of my children together. I spent an hour and a half with both of my sons talking with them on yesterday. That hadn't happened in a minute. They called Pop, and we were on the phone for an hour and a half and an hour the, the, the day before that. And that's been one of my major vision points that I want um, um, a, a more intimate connection with my children. I'm the only parent they have. Their mom is no longer on this side. So I want that man to get these payouts. Go get those payouts, John. All right. Just about finished. Well, doggone it. Will you look? Here's Mike Vitrano again. So in one plan, plan 10, Mike was Michael was my first. Plan 50, he was my second. That went up. Plan 250, I think it was. He was my uh, second. That went up. Plan 500, he's my first. That goes to me. Now, Michael's second, whenever he has his second, that'll go to me. His third will go to Michael. So you can see here, Michael had Jeffrey. That was Michael's first, so that went to Michael. Okay, that $400 payout. Michael's uh, second will go to yours truly. His third will go to Michael. His fourth will come to yours truly. Michael's fifth, sixth, 17th, 198 for this plan will all go to Michael. All right, let's finish this thing. You can go on and start getting ready to put your questions in the questions box and we'll have an optional Q&A. Now, why do we want to move with a sense of urgency? Okay, give me a moment. Why do we want to move with a sense of urgency? Because right now, flair is two cents. It's actually less than two cents, okay? Now, let's say the day comes when you are qualified all the way through 
and you have someone that's coded to you that's qualified all the way through. Okay. So they do a 20,000 uh, um, donation. You get the withdrawable payout of 16,000. Okay. Remember what's our target. We want to get you to five to 10 million of flair that you've amassed after you've uh, converted to usable, spendable cash. All right. So $16,000 payout in Flare, when Flare is going for two cents, that's 800,000 Flare. Even if you converted some of that to usable, spendable cash, you likely have uh, quite a bit of Flare just from that one transaction because Flare is at two cents, actually less than two cents. Okay. Let me put this here in memory. Now, let's say, let's say, you're here now, but you don't really go for it. And you know, let me see if this is, you know, this thing's going to work out. And, you know, there's been, there's been some trolls out there saying that this ain't going to work or what have you. Let me just sit back and wait and let's see. Okay. Uh, and then a year from now, you're like, wow, they're still going. And boy, they're, they're picking up steam. Let me go on and, and start doing this thing. And you get to the point where you get a $16,000 payout. Yay. But Flair's going for two dollars as opposed to two cents. You'd get eight thousand flare versus and this example, and this is all scenario, hypothetical, you know, if and maybe perhaps all my disclaimers. But do you see the difference? While flare is at these lower prices, this is the time for us to really Go for it. We've got three live uh, Zooms every week. Uh, very soon, I'm just waiting for my programmer. They've been a little bit uh, slow uh, uh, to have some really nice recorded content that can be uh, shared 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. All right, so that'll be coming. I hope some of that will be coming out as early as next week. Let's get this word out. So what do you do? Okay. What you want to do is you want to get back to the person that referred you. I want you looking at scour over the plan. What makes the most sense for you? The speed of the leader is the speed of the group. So you want the largest plan that makes sense for your resources. Instead of starting off at 10 and 50 and 100 and 250 and 500, what's your budget? What's your what's your uh, budget? We had somebody who came aboard. They had a budget of, uh, I think it was just over 14,000. So they did the 10,000 and then the 2,500 and then the thousand, so on and so forth. What's your budget? You know, is it 500? Is it 2,500? Is it 5,000? Is it 50? What makes sense for you and your family? Okay. Remember the law of the harvest. We reap what we sow. We got to sow to reap. But when we reap, we reap so much more than what we sow. All right, so start off with the highest donation. Remember the law of the harvest. Get back to the person who referred you to tonight's uh, Zoom. Get their referral link. You register for free. Uh, and then, uh, again, decide what donation uh, you want to make. Um, also, make sure, and I will uh, uh, post this in just a few moments, make sure you join our Telegram um, uh, room. Um, that way we uh, post announcements there. If you need any assistance, um, and getting things kind of squared away, we can make sure that you're getting the content that you need uh, to help you uh, out. All right. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we love each and every one of you. Uh, let's transform this world together, starting with yours. That does conclude our sharing on the generational uh, wealth model. Uh, we will do an optional Q&A. Uh, we're not going to open up the lines uh, for Q&A, but you have a Q&A box. So if you would simply put in your question, we will peruse through them. We will answer as many of those questions as we possibly can as we go through the content. Give me just a moment. 